But then it was that a professional job done in the end? In the end, the second half was far far better. Um, I thought our level of performance was better. Second half, changing shape, I think helped us um, um, to, to do exactly that. Um, first half, everything we'd spoke about really, about don't give them any encouragement, be careful, we're passing, um, concentrate fully. I thought we gave them too much encouragement in terms of um, being sloppy with work, um, loose with our passing, bringing them onto us. I thought they used their physicality on us at times and I thought we would have hands full and we did well to keep a clean sheet. I thought Montrose were the better team for the opening half hour, to be honest. So, um, we spoke about trying to make changes. Um, we get the goal just for half time, which obviously um, paints a better reflection on the game, but I couldn't wait half time really to make the necessary changes. Um, and I thought, thought we were far better second half. We scored two very good goals second half, particularly the third one, which is a terrific team move. I thought the substitutes helped us when they came on. Um, we've picked up a couple of other wee knocks today with Zach and Big Ash. So we're hoping it's nothing too serious. Um, so in certain areas of the pitch we've actually some, got some decent options to cope with that, but in other areas of the pitch we still need strengthened and I thought we lacked um, certainly some more creativity and some speed. But what I've got to say for the players' efforts, you know, any cup tie, particularly away from home, on a hot sticky day, on a really dry surface, it's never going to be easy, these things are never normally straightforward. Um, and we had to work and persevere and hang in at times. But um, I thought our work was better second half, uh, obviously culminating in a 3 0 victory. In, in the end, when you talk about that kind of first half, was it just needing a moment like the one that Kerr provided to just try and change it a little bit from what had been going on before? The goal was actually a good goal in terms of what we spoke about, but we just didn't do that part of the game enough. I didn't think we kept the ball at the top end of the pitch enough. I didn't think our service up to the strikers was good enough. I didn't think we um, angled enough to take the ball. Everything we spoke about really, about working on, about trying to get that overload through the middle of the park and um, try and play in the wider areas. I thought we were very pedestrian. Um, and I thought we were second best, to be honest. I thought we were second best. I didn't enjoy the first half one, one bit. The goal kind of taints it a wee bit, but it also lets us um, have the comfort at half time that um, we're winning the game. And obviously, it becomes a 45 minute cup tie second half. And we're just looking for that demand to be better second half. And um, I think the, the, the change helped us um, with a more natural left foot play on that side. Danny Armstrong far more effective when he came over this side of the pitch. And we started to get some element of control in the game. So, um, And I thought, most importantly, we did need. We didn't have any too many sloppy moments setting half. Didn't give the opposition the encouragement that they can maybe get something for the tie. Uh, and I thought we were very professional when we worked towards the end. Um, thought we could have scored more. Thought we should have had a penalty when all he's wiped out. Um, but by and large, a 3 0 victory before the game starts with a two. I worked for David Watson, first start. He equipped himself very well. Absolutely. Um, you know, he's one of the ones in the first half who was showing that real enthusiasm and, and energy. He got up and down in the game, he won a few tackles, um, eager to impress, and that's what we want. You want that um, eagerness and uh, confidence to just go and play the game, not, not overthink it and just go and take part in the game. And I thought he did that. I thought second half, obviously, he's in the middle of the park. He's more natural position, which he can do great. And I thought he had some good moments in there as well. Um, he's a type of player that when he plays in there and he's on top of his game, uh, nobody would like to play against him because he has a rash, um, but he uses the ball simply at, at, at good times as well. So he can be pleased with his work um, and he played his part in a, a good victory for us. And after the injuries that you mentioned in a, a double game week, it's just passed. Nice to just have a single game to focus on, try and get so, as many bodies back. Yeah, in hindsight, maybe we played one too many pre season game. I'd like to get back to a good full training week, to be honest. Um, I think we need it. Um, players, it's been a tough schedule for them, but I think that's been played out. We've finished every game we've played quite strong, um, and I think we're fit enough. Um, but listen, I'm, I'm determined to get a team on the pitch that's better than what we showed today, and these our boys will are capable of better, and they'll show that, I'm sure, over the coming weeks. But I think we just need to now have a, a good training week, um, um, rest down tomorrow, and then focus on Stenhouse Muir game. We wanted to make sure that Stenhouse Muir game at home has some sort of relevance to try to get that 10 points, and 10 points we hope uh, will be enough. Um, but we've got to work hard um, uh, next Saturday to make sure that's the case. But in the meantime, um, let's see how our injuries are. Hopefully, we've got one or two back for next week. 
Um, hopefully ones from today don't um, um, aren't too serious. And then we'll see about trying to get one or two lads in this week that can maybe help us um, from out with to, for the challenges ahead.